2 Samuel 23 is entitled, David's Last Words. We know that at least 73 of the Psalms in the book of Psalms are assigned to David, but his last one is found here in 2 Samuel 23. Now, as you read these words recorded in just seven verses, they overflow with thankfulness and gratefulness to God for his hand upon David's life and the life of his family in raising them up into service and leadership. It's been clear throughout David's life that he didn't promote himself to achieve greatness, but it was the Lord who chose him and elevated him to the throne. And in this chapter, David, well, he praises God for that. And it's interesting. The rest of the chapter gives the greatest testimony to David's leadership. It's the people, the men that God raised up around him. You see, we all remember David. David as a mighty warrior, and he was, but he wasn't alone. The men around David recognized that God's hand was upon him, and God raised up all kinds of different men to serve alongside David. And as you read this chapter today, you see some of the amazing things that God did in and through these men. And something encouraging from some of the descriptions of what these men did, and the list of all the names we see here in this chapter, is that God noted each man by having their names recorded in his word. You know, I just love what Pastor Warren Wearsby says about this. He says, God will one day reward each one for the ministry he performed. David's name is mentioned over a thousand times in the Bible, while most of these men are mentioned maybe once or twice. However, when they meet the Lord, then each one's praise will come from God, just as it says in 1 Corinthians 4. So let me encourage you today. Serve the Lord with all you've got today. He sees you, and one day he'll reward you. His people, like it says in 1 Corinthians, each one's praise will come from God.